Hello and welcome back to Health Tech TV. Today we are doing a bias guide on smartphones. Um, a lot of people, they don't really know what they want when it comes to buying a phone. They see all these flashy adverts saying that this one's got these features, this one's got that features, and they think, well, that's, that's kind of good, that's kind of good, but what do I want? And um, this is going to be an easy step-by-step -step way of picking the best, most appropriate phone for you personally, so that you don't end up spending more money than you need, and you don't end up uh, spending money on a product that doesn't suit your needs or doesn't give you exactly what you need in terms of uh, features. So it's going it's almost like a flowchart um, in in the way it's going to work. You know, you uh, eliminate all the limiting factors to uh, achieve sort of success. Uh, say this is the phone, this is this is where you need to be and that, uh, to get there you need to go the route that has the least limiting factors. Um, so yeah let's let's start on our journey to finding the best phone for you. Uh, so, so as I was talking about uh, limiting factors, what you need to start off with is the biggest limiting factor instead of the, the smallest limiting factor. And when it comes to phones, it's not actually hardware that's the limiting factor, but the software. So you need to have a look and find the best software for you, the best operating system uh, when it comes to phones. So whether it be iOS, whether it be BlackBerry operating system, whether it be Android or Windows, you need to figure out which has the capabilities that you want. So for example, if you want a phone that can send music over Bluetooth, you definitely don't want to go uh, for iOS. If you want one that has uh, a good mapping system, you definitely don't want to go iOS. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, if you want a good phone for making text documents, um, I don't know, Excel documents or whatever, you would want to go for a Windows phone. If you want one that's good for emails, um, you would maybe look at BlackBerry uh, operating systems. Find the operating system that best suits your needs, uh, as that is generally the biggest limiting factor when it comes to uh, phones. From here we need to look at the brands themselves. Uh, what do they like pride themselves on? For example, Apple prides themselves on their retina displays and uh, their, like, like obviously the software. Um, you know, the retina displays might not be that good compared to another brand, but you've got to really look at uh, the brands as a whole. For example, Apple uh, are known for having not that good battery life, not that good signal, um, but good screen resolution. Um, HTC are known for um, for example, they had ones with Beats Audio in. Um, uh, they they tend to go for like the the uh, full package HTC do um, the the bold quality um, screen resolution blah 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 blah. Uh, like for example, HTC they do try and go for everything. Uh, how reliable is the brand as a whole? You've really got to look at the the whole brand and then choose which brand you want to go with uh, based on uh, your experiences or your research on those brands um, and that's when you start looking at the uh, phones themselves, the models themselves um, and start picking uh, out which ones you would rather have over the rest of the range. So from here uh, like I said, you start looking at the models. Say you've chosen Blackproof, for example. Uh, do any of the curves uh, fit your feature needs or your spec needs, or do you need to go up to the bolds? Uh, with uh, if you were gonna, if you're going with Apple, does the iPhone 4 fit your needs? Does the iPhone 3GS fit your needs? Does the iPhone 4S5, uh, 4S slash 5 fit your needs? Um, once you've chosen the brand, start looking at the product within that brand. Do you need one with a, I don't know, a a really, really high resolution 4-inch touchscreen? Uh, do you need one with a dedicated QWERTY keyboard or just dedicated 
uh, touch buttons as well as the touch screen. Start picking ones out from that brand that fit your needs, that have everything that you need. And you don't want to go with one that doesn't fit every single need of yours. It's better to go with one that has higher than what you need than one lower than what you need. Because what you'll tend to find is if you but if you pick one out that you like that might not fit every single need, you start to uh, find it a little annoying. Whereas if you have a phone which, say for example, does everything that you want, but instead of, have, of you just needing a 5 megapixel camera, it has an 8 mega, megapixel camera, uh, you're not going to be annoyed by that. You'll tend, you, you'll tend to just forget that it's there, uh, forget that it's better, forget, you know, it, it won't bother you as much as it would if it, had, if it didn't have something that you wanted. Um, so now, uh, this is the part where you've picked your phone. Um, yeah. So now you've picked your phone, now you know which phone you want to get. Uh, the phone now isn't going to be the limiting factor, it's going to be the service provider that's going to be the limiting factor. Do you want to have good uh, connection? Do you want to have good 3G, good 4G? Do you want to be able to call people from inside your house? Um, is the signal going to be that bad? Choose one. For example, Orange and T-Mobile, uh, both sub sort of sub companies um, of a bigger company, and now they're joined together, and it's everything everywhere. So now what you're getting is an improved signal, improved everything. So like I'm like I'm trying to get at, choose a service provider which will be able to provide you and your phone with everything you need, whether it be good. Uh, 4G, 3G connection, good signal, good um, well, prices in terms of if you want to get the phone and contract prices in terms of pay as you go. Uh, really, the full package. Can that service provider give you everything you need? Is is for example, are you in a remote location? If you went with um, three, do they even have that many? Um, sort of blank spots in terms of their signal where you live. Are you going to be going in and out of signal um, every every 10 meters? So pick the service provider which is going to help you the best. Um, and yeah really now you've got your phone, now you've got your service provider, now you know what you want. Um, really that's you done, you've, you've got the smartphone, you've got everything you need and hopefully you're going to enjoy it more than you would with any other phone on the market to date. Uh, so yeah, that is the buyer's guide. Um, time to say goodbye. So there we have it. That is the buyer's guide on smartphones. Which is the best smartphone for you and how to find out whether it is or isn't. Uh, don't forget to head over to the website and if you haven't already done so, bookmark it in your browser because there's a lot of content there that you won't find anywhere else in the Haltech TV network. If you have any questions or product review requests, use the um, section of the website for that and use the specific tags um, to associate your question, review request or whatever um, uh, with, with the content of the, the, well, uh, the question. Um, uh, that is where your questions are going to get answered. You might get answered on on uh, YouTube comments or whatever or uh, whatever, but really at the end of the day, you will 100% get answered if you go over to the website and use the questions box. If you have any business contact uh, reasons, if you want to uh, contact me for business, use the email provided. Uh, all the links are in the description box below. But other than that, I'm Hal, Tech T Hal Thompson. I'm not Hal Tech TV. I'm Hal Thompson. This has been another Hal Tech TV video. Don't forget to subscribe. Do everything I've just asked you to do. And goodbye.